there a turning point for you, or was there kind of a moment when you said, like, okay, yeah, I really, really got to step this up now? Uh, I don't know about a turn moment, but it's just, I just got to definitely step up and be able to be a more vocal leader. I thought I, I did a good job this week by doing that in practice and doing that in the game. I feel like I did a good job. Yes, What's that process like? I mean, is it where you have to like, really think about, like, okay, here's a good time to speak up? Or I guess what's that like and just kind of, you know, making yourself talk more? Uh, I think it's just that whenever you feel it, you feel like I need to speak, you feel like you need to say something, just go ahead and say it and not just not hold it back, just not say something. But when you feel the need to be able to say something, you just go ahead and do it. Oh, I mean, yeah, I think, I don't know. I think just fans, yeah, he was just saying, just keep my head up. Basically, just keep my head up. Just keep going. Just keep working. Everything's going to be all right, so I'll go work out. That's basically all he was saying, sir. What were the fans saying? Uh, I already know what the fans were saying. I couldn't really, I didn't really, I didn't really, I couldn't really hear what they were saying, no, sir. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I walk out the field, I didn't really hear what they were saying. I was just pissed that we lost the game. But I think afterwards, I don't know, I think Sweeney might have said, Sweeney might have said on their channel, like, DJ sucks or something like that, something along that along that, uh, along that line. So, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, you hear it in high school and stuff like that here. I mean, but, I mean, it don't really bother me. I mean, they have, that could be their own opinion. I mean, that's up to them, whatever they want to say about me, sir. So, Definitely not. Yeah, I definitely feel like I've settled into the role of being the guy, being the quarterback here at Clemson. Yes, sir. Yeah, mm -hmm. I guess why, why do you feel that? Uh, I feel like it's just, I mean, you just got to be able to get accustomed to it. I mean, it's just like, it's like in high school, but now it's just on a bigger stage. You know, we're on a bigger level, bigger platform than high school. You're in college and you're facing the whole program for the football program as a quarterback. So it's kind of like high school, but just on a bigger, bigger and brighter stage. Yes, sir. When you obviously were on a big stage at Boston, how does mm -hmm. that, that kind of a big stage compared to this, and how does that help you to, you know, maybe tune out, like, the outside world mm -hmm. and kind of find your identity, own identity after, you know, coming after Trevor Lawrence? Uh, you just got to be able to be yourself, you know. You got to know who you are. You got to be able to be yourself and just be able to be you. You, gotta, you don't got to be nobody else but yourself while you're on that field. So that's kind of how I uh, learned from Bosco, just being yourself. And college, everything just gets magnified. So that's, I think that's the biggest difference from high school. Uh, I think it's been great for Justin. Uh, he, I know he's told me he feels he feels more comfortable there on the outside playing outside receiver. But uh, being out there, uh, being out there, I think he just feels more comfortable. Uh, he did, did had a great game last week. Uh, he had a lot of great catches, and I mean, he did a really, did a really well job last week. Sorry. Some of those back shoulder throws, you feel like your chemistry starting to get there with him, and you are getting more more comfortable. And I guess it's what's that process been like having receivers move around. So no, definitely. Uh, I feel like we definitely got more comfortable. We're definitely on the same page last week, and we're going to continue to keep growing, keep getting better with the chemistry, and we're going to, we're going to keep getting better. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. What kind of lift does Shipley give the sideline and the offense? Mm -hmm. Just kind of emotional leadership. Uh, he does a great job. You know, he plays he plays his heart out every time he's on the field. He's a warrior. He gets out there and he just plays. He just plays his heart out, and then you can just feel his energy off the sideline while he's playing in the game. He just you can just feed off him. So it's it's great to have him out there, yes sir. Not your typical freshman, I guess. Nah, I don't think definitely not your typical freshman. You know, he's he's a superstar, yes, sir. I think you just, uh, as the season keeps going on, you kind of see where you need to grow at and just keep growing. And you get a little bit more comfortable each and every game you play. So I feel, I feel like that's where it comes from. You know, uh, I definitely feel like I've done a good job the whole season, but it just keeps getting better each and every week, getting vocal. Sir. For that last drive, mm -hmm. 
Saturday at the fourth before the shift was going on. Did you have a message for your teammates? Did you have to say anything? Or, you know, who was speaking out there in the hall? Uh, I think all I think all I just said is just be able to be detailed and focus. You know, we just have fun out there. You know, we just playing a game that we love. I think that's the main thing is just go out there and just have fun. I mean, don't stress too much. This is just football, man. You think just don't 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 make it bigger than it really is. Mm -hmm. Twenty-seven before the game, that kind of got that vibe from you guys. That you know, like, kind of developing passion love for just playing. Did you feel that too before the game? No, nah, definitely. Yeah, that was my biggest thing coming this week. Just be able to go out there and have fun. You know, just treat it like you're playing catch in the backyard and just having fun out there. So that was my big thing this week. Mm -hmm. AJ, on that strip side, is that just a case of you know, not seeing the guy come around or is there something from a ball security standpoint that you feel like you can do better in that situation? Yeah, I just didn't see the guy coming around. Got, yeah, you definitely have my ball. I have it a little tighter uh, to my body, maybe stuff him in a pocket, make it easier on a uh, big walk right there. He did a good job by washing him out. He's got to be able to step up. Yeah, and that doesn't happen. Yes, sir. Questions on Zoom? Any other questions here? Talking about learning that screenplay, EJ, where you from. You know, it's only you'll get to learn. That's what just got to Yeah, just probably just throw it on the ground, just throw it away. Yeah, no. Is that part of the learning process and is all of this, is it going to make you a better quarterback? No, definitely. It's definitely all part of the learning process, and it definitely will make me a better quarterback. You go through all these different situations that you don't get to see in, the, in practice, you see it in the game. You just get more uh, comfortable with it, and it's simple stuff like that. He's got to be able to throw it away. He slips. See him slip, just throw it on the ground, eat it, instead of trying to get back to him. It's just stuff, stuff like that, be able to make him better. Yes, sir. Sir, no, definitely, yeah. I think the thing is that everyone, even though uh, a lot of the teams, everyone's like kind of like on the same plane. That it's not very much of a big difference in each and every team. That each and every team is really well, and that the ACC has great competition. And each and every game, you got to be able to go out there. And that winning is hard. You know, winning is not easy. It's definitely not walking apart. Going out there uh, is an easy thing to do. So each and every week, you got to be able to be locked in and. You gotta be able to have, be on your P's and Q's and be able to just cross, cross your T's, dot your I's, and be able to ready to go each and every week. Trying to mention you found an identity. What do you think your identity now is? What do you hope that it is? You know, you know Saturday at the end of the season when you're mm -hmm. finished here, what do you want that identity? Uh, just the same identity that I've had my whole life. Uh, just be able to be the same person I've been. Uh, that nothing's changed. That I just continue to keep growing in the person I am. Thanks, DJ. Thank you.